Man, all right. Welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings Here. <laughs> Double in Mendham. Uh, yes, well, they had a setting. So, what the hell? <laughs> I pressed on it. Uh, I had to change things because this bit shoot website doesn't compress in a window properly, so you can't make the video big enough. Whatever. All that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, where are we going today? Yeah, I did, you know, I looked at my old Amendum comment page, and it's just so full of shit that there was nothing there to do anything with. And, uh, I was thinking I could respond to some of Piero's crap, but it's just such babble that there's just no point. Um, and the underlying theme is, though, is that you have to sort of communicate with people. You know, you have to, in some way... To, to accomplish anything doing this stuff you not only have to um, attract people's attention like pay attention I'm saying something that might be interesting to you uh, there might be something in it for you so you know don't miss out <laughs> you know, um, some reason uh, to uh, to get into a any kind of conversation is difficult enough right I mean there's so few people who can even engage in conversation that's rational, that has anything to do with let's argue and get to the truth. You know, it might be difficult at times, but let's fight it out. Um, let's try to reduce it to the real key concepts, what's really in the way here. Um, and that happens with anybody, you know, their interest level, all of this stuff. So you have to maintain their interest at the same time, do things that they don't want to do, which is think you know, and think about how ignorant they are. That's part of the problem, right? Because a lot of people will run from a conversation just because they know they have no ammunition. All they have is, God, I hate them darkies. <laughs> All they have is some kind of feeling. And they want their feeling to be, um, somehow, they want the world to pay attention to the fact that they don't like something. And they want it to go away. And, um... But they don't want to have to go through the process of understanding how it can go away or how it works. So you could argue that for years YouTube has been censoring and doing nasty, horrible things. Google has been. And nobody, Google never pays any price for it. So all of that crap happens and Google still runs the internet. <laughs> it's allowed to control what people see on the internet. And it is doing that. I mean, it is specifically and overtly presenting you with a different card catalog of the internet than it presents me. It gives me links it doesn't give you. It gives you links it doesn't give me. It puts them in different order uh, on different pages um, based on a profiling. And then you've accepted all of this, right? I mean, I can't generate any interest in having any kind of, well, we disagree, so but let's join forces um, let's fight for our rights. And the only rights they want to fight for are the rights to be liars and pigs. So, you know, they want to give somebody who's a, you know, the worst case. They want to protect his rights. And they don't care about all the other cases that are so much more important. Um, so again, Google should be something hated by every single rational person on earth. There's no reason to like it. It's an evil marketing company. It sells advertising, and that's all it's interested in doing, is making money, selling ads. It has no other personal interest or no other philosophical interest. That's its interest, is everything is seen as a way of engineering your interest. Even when it does something that appears to be in a social interest, it's only in a social interest, the same way as General Motors or any other... Microsoft ever did anything in the social interest. It's because they'll gain interest. They'll gain benefit from it. Um, you know, it's like the rich people pretending to be against deficit spending when they're making money off of it. It increases their interest rates. They're the ones you're borrowing the money from. They're the credit card company making tons of money off of your bad behavior. Uh, and yet you're pretending they're on your side. I mean, it's, you know, there's so many ludicrous aspects of this existence. And so you could even just say that, like, okay, you know, fake Sagan should be able to realize that human beings are just such piles of suck. Um, and, you know, they really can't do anything uh, the right way, ever. 
and that we're demonstrating it that even when we have an open market essentially we have some free speech a substantial amount I mean not a not a nothing amount compared to the past and we certainly have a vehicle for speaking freely uh, people can communicate instantly across nations we have all kinds of ability to communicate ways we never had before to reach each other and yet we can't touch each other in any way <laughs> whatsoever um, you know, we can't communicate, uh, we can't fix anything, we can't agree on anything, we can't accomplish a fucking thing. Uh, it's a dismal uh, record of uh, non-performance and provides no hope for any kind of future for these organisms to succeed in any way. So why would this asshole be an, a religious kook? I mean, <laughs> why would he think a god made this piece of shit and, and would create some place for it to go to wallow in its what? Its grotesque failure? All of the failure it's created here? Um, and since and the notion is we go there as some sort of thing that doesn't remember how big a fucking failure we were, right? If we get to go to the happy place, you don't go there with knowledge of the sad place. You, you don't go there so you can sit on a bench and think about how horrible the death of your mother was or how terrible the you know, why, watching your sister get run over in the street or something. You, you know, that doesn't happen. So what, what is the theory here? There's no theory. There's no nothing. And you're saying, how can, how can reasonable people have these insane notions of reality and, and defend them and, and promote them and uh, proselytize on top of them and then be critical of stupidity all over the place? I mean, he commits an act of grotesque... Uh, um, um, obnoxiousness to intelligence and reason, you know, accepting retarded old archaic silly fables about reality, about boogeymen and stuff, uh, you know, the ancient tree god, um, and then he'll gripe because the world doesn't work right. Well, it doesn't work right because somehow human beings are susceptible to lunacy and insanity and stupidity and this, these insane proportions. They can't ever aim their guns correctly and shoot the right thing. And yet he's for them having guns, you know. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And you're saying, how can, how can, how come, how can reasonable people not make sense? I mean, it's, this is kind of obvious and easy to, to understand uh, that you can fix these mechanisms. I mean, it's not that hard. You organize a few million people, just a few million and they can, with their own resources, create all the freedom we could ever need. Okay, and just create a nice non-profit system, have some sort of reasonable pay scales for the employees, have some sort of rational, you put somebody in charge who actually understands that everybody can't have everything and all that kind of crap, and they can run it, even, even running it as a poorly as a business, they can run it and, and pay for it. And we can have all the freedom we need. Okay, and if people want to sue us, they can sue us in a courtroom. They don't sue us by, well, let's just prejudge the case and say, no, you don't have any. This, 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 we have no uh, fair use rights anymore. I mean, on the Internet. It's just you don't have any because all of the places that allow you to post your content will tell you you don't have any. Okay, we're prejudged and Sony always wins first and you have to fight for your right. You have to go to court to get your right, you know, so there's no point in having the right. Um, you're supposed to be punishing crimes, criminals. You're not supposed to be uh, punishing people for doing exactly what they're supposed to be allowed to do. Um, but anyway, I didn't know if I articulated that perfectly, but the point is, is that this is so stupid. Um, you know, the, they made a law, the, the DMCA. Google's an overt violation of it in the sense that the whole point of giving Google immunity was that Google doesn't have to be responsible for what the people on their service do and that somebody else is responsible to sue them. <laughs> it's not Google's job to stop them. It's somebody who's aggrieved, has some obligation. If you don't like the words I said and they offend you, well then you have to go to a court and prove that somehow they were more offensive than me calling you a duty head. Oh, I called you a duty head. Oh, tough fucking shit. I mean, <laughs> it's really that stupid. So, yeah, the video I got taken down. Who the hell knows what it got taken down for? There's no, nobody's responsible for anything. Nobody has to account for their tyranny. <laughs> you know, they can just impose it. 
Well, anyway, so Fake Sagan has left YouTube again, you know, for the 497th time. He's making a scene, <laughs> you know. Um, and, yeah, so what? You know, you leave now or you get kicked off later. I mean, it's you can see it in Google's attitude, okay, that it's put the, the terms of service, it's rewritten it in a way where it's basically saying, we have the right to say we're not making any money off of you, so fuck you, you can't use our platform anymore. They're basically saying that. So all the people with no ads are doomed, it seems inevitable. And um, and clearly they also have created so many speech laws, you know, against what is hurtful to somebody that you're just doomed. You know, they can just arbitrarily at any time decide that 98% of my videos are, are uh, hurt somebody because, you know, I suggested the world is a harsh place and that scared people, you know, some kind of horse shit. So there's no, you know, it's, there's, there's, we should have never accepted an internet run by corporations and yet everybody did. And they all pretended Google wasn't a corporation, which was hilarious. I mean, I sat there for years, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, warning you, Google is evil, okay? <laughs> Don't fall for this stupid thing. We're not evil. No, they're evil as fuck. What do you think? How do you think they're giving it away for free? I mean, I asked the question to people. What do you think is going on? They're giving it away for free. They're losing money. How does that work? How will that work in the fucking future? Who is paying for this exactly? Nobody would answer the fucking question. What's the plan? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, the plan is exactly what William Randolph Hearst did. That is, I have a hundred million dollars. I can afford to lose two million dollars per year and I'll be long dead by the time I'm out of money. So I can ruin you. I can open a store and I don't have to make, you know, selling exactly what you're selling and, and I don't have to make any money. I can actually lose money. I can give the product away. And that's what Google was doing. It was giving it away. Why? to destroy Yahoo, to destroy AltaVista, to destroy all the web, to destroy every other competing company because no other competing company, they had to actually pay their bills, they had to pay their employees. Okay, not with Hearst money, you know, not with inherited money, they, not with money they could afford to, to lose, you know, they had to make real money to pay their bills. So it was so anti-capitalist, it was so wrong in so many ways, it's anti-socialism, it's anti-capitalism, it is the worst fucking phenomenon you can have. Again, inheritance is obviously destroys capitalism. It destroys the fair fight, it destroys the whole concept of earning it. And yet all these assholes will sit there, pull your boots up, fight the fight, blah, 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 competitive, competitive. Competitive what? <laughs> you know, com compete with somebody who inherited ownership. Oh, how do I exactly do that? I mean, such bullshit. And people just suck it up and they eat this shit. So you're saying, well, why does it exist? Well, it exists because apparently I could talk to a hundred people and a half of one of them will get what I'm saying and actually be motivated to do something. One half of one person will. So clearly, 99% of human beings are preposterous piles of stupid, ignorant shit. And yet this asshole will argue against antinatalism or against, you know, being anything but um, com completely despising anything invented by mankind, including his loony gods. Um, but anyway, I, I digress probably. I, you know, it's just, so, you know, I'm just sitting here in this position saying, I, I'm frankly, I know I'm passing the rational test. Okay, I can see it. I can see myself passing it. I can get this whole thing up. I got up, down, right. I got left, right, right. I got forward, back, right. I got a lot of these things right. I'm navigating okay. I know I'm doing it right. So there's no other choice. All of you fucking, fucking shit for brains are obviously doing it wrong. You don't know how to do any of this simple logic thing. It escapes your uh, capacities. And I'm just, oh man, so this really is, I'm really I'm out in the wilderness trying to uh, educate frogs. I mean, you know, is there really a point? Am I, do I have any hope that the frogs are going to understand any of the symbols or any kind of way, you know? I mean, 
you sort of empathize with people that get into the business of trying to, you know, do the sign language with chimpanzees or something. It must get incredibly frustrating. <laughs> I was like, no, poo, poo bad, poo stink, poo, don't throw the poo. No, I mean, oh, God, you know, don't eat poo. I mean, oh, you know, I don't have to tell you that, do I? Oh, fuck. So anyway, so Google has been preposterously it the whole thing is an evil thing the whole history of YouTube is known now they had a court case right that's so ironic because this this uh, Verisign I think it was right Verisign anyway they owned a bunch of copyrighted content and they sued Google you know for billions of dollars that they've lost in revenue because of all the stolen content and uh, you know, we found out in court that it was completely deliberate. The people who invented YouTube invented it purely f for the purpose of duping all these people who thought it had something to do with YouTube. You know, you being on the tube and all that kind of crap. When it, it was a plan right from the very fucking beginning, okay, just to get enough eyeballs to the website to sell it for big bucks. And that's exactly what they did, <laughs> okay, and so they completely gamed us gamed a humankind with a big fat lie okay and they were deliberately in the whole intent was is to have other people steal the content so they wouldn't be responsible so so they couldn't get sued um so they encouraged people they actually paid people to go steal copyright content and broadcast it on youtube it's all in the facts the record um and the joke was is that the the you know verisign lost the, the lawsuit even though it was proven, I mean, emails, everything proven. The whole thing was started as a sham. Um, and so then Google bought the sham. And what are they doing with it? They're doing all of these malicious things. You know, let's follow every mouse move. Let's control people. Let's find out what ads they click on, what colors they click on. We will be able to optimize our capacity to sell shit to people because it's a marketing fucking company. They don't care about any of this content crap. They don't care about any of this free speech crap. They don't care about any of this. Let's elevate the... The, the mind of the human being, let's have these important conversations, let's debate, let's fight it out, let's get to the truth. None of that. That's abhorrent to them. It's all about fluffy kitty and cute frogs and, you know, funny lizards and whatever other bullshit. It has nothing to do with doing anything to enhance the human condition at all. And I mean the human condition not only physically, but much more importantly, intellectually. It, it takes a little bit of intelligence to build a house that doesn't fall on you. But it's not a lot of intelligence. We can build a civilization that has some structure. It doesn't have to be totally moronic. Um, people don't have to have such imbecilic expectations. So all these people just keep defending these corporate fucking whores running everything. So, so fake Sagan has run to bit shoot. But I think he's already noticing that, hey, this looks like the same setup. You know, the same exact mechanism. Oh yes, you're giving something to me for free, and it's all fun and nice. But what's the catch? You know, and the catch is there. These people who provide these alternatives are just doing what the original YouTube people did. They're just figured out, and it's now it's so obvious, right? It's not even like the at least the originators of YouTube had to be somewhat original in their sham. This isn't even an original sham anymore. You know, just try to engineer enough popularity so you can sell it for big bucks to Google or to some other company. Be a little bit competitive and then you'll be bought because you're a competitor. I mean, they're just playing the system. They're not doing anything else but manipulating uh, human beings. They're, they're not doing anything for them. And why do you keep voting for that? Why do you keep voting for a fucking world that says, I'm going to manipulate you. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to pervert everything. Can't you do anything in an honest way? Can't you understand that our government should be our government? I mean, it should be exactly what we want, not fucking telling us what we are supposed to do. You won't punish them. You won't vote for... I mean, I, you know, one of the saddest moments in my life. The saddest... One of the saddest moments in my life. I mean, it was bad when Reagan got elected. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that was bad. But right up there with Reagan winning, okay, was the the when... They had as a ballot initiative um, obliging judges, okay, that is actually 
placing laws in place that would force judges to be honest, that the judges couldn't violate your constitutional rights, they couldn't do this, couldn't do that. Actually putting standards up that made them accountable. It would be almost like if they had a referendum that police officers who violated the law would have to pay twice the penalty. Okay, so whatever the crime is they would commit, if they were convicted, they would go to jail for twice as long. A perfectly rational thing to do, right? I mean, you have to have accountability in the people who have power. Judges have more power than anybody on this planet, and they have no accountability. I mean, just about zero. So in like North Dakota, they had a referendum placing a little tiny bit of accountability on judges, and the people voted it down. I mean, why would you vote down imposing accountability on the most powerful people in the world? And I guess every time people have an opportunity to do that, they don't do it. Because clearly the Congress doesn't impose accountability on itself. It doesn't, it doesn't care. And why doesn't it care? Because none of you force it to care. When you have a chance to vote for somebody, a candidate who says, well, look, if I lie, cheat, and steal, you can pillar me, pillory me for a month in the street, and then you can slit my guts open and spill them out and torture me. Because really, if I'm doing that, it's a, the highest crime. It means I've just lied to millions of people and attempted to fucking steal your money or steal something from you. Steal your power. I mean, how could I be... I, I mean, if I'm a spy, could I be a worse criminal? <laughs> you know, how, how exactly do I become a worse criminal than to violate the public trust? To sit there and take a public servant job where I'm really not your butler, I'm stealing all your shit. I mean, how could I be more of a criminal? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, you just... But it's because humans are such compulsive liars. They're such compulsive thieves and crooks that they can't impose accountability on criminality. That scares the fuck out of them. Oh, then they might catch me in all of my bullshit. They might impose standards on me. I might not be able to get away with being a liar uh, for making money. You know, where I lie to the customers all the time and I tell them bullshit. Because I make, I make a living. It's, it's good for me. Pays my bills. Being a liar and a crook. You know, shamming people. Getting the asshole to spend more than he wants to and pay more than he should have to because we can go right down the street a half mile and get the same thing for 40% less money. But I won't tell him that because I'm part of the game, the lying game. So anyway, just a dismal world we exist in. And that's what makes it all the more funny. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad, right? I mean, nature is so cruel, so horrible, and then the human race is so cruel, so horrible. I mean, it's just so bad, and people are still defend it. Oh, I have to have babies, and I have to make more liars and scum. I just have to. I, I just can't live without it. That was the only thing. There was one comment on the board that actually said something, and it was something you know, to this effect that, oh, there's some happy people. Yeah, some women like being raped. I mean, you know, the, you know, it's not a bad rape, you know, and they're like, they're kind of charmed. Oh, somebody cares and they want me. Oh, that's really cool. You know, it wasn't a bad thing. It wasn't all that bad. Now, I'm not saying it's 1%, whatever, half percent. Who cares how many it is? I'm just sure it's happened in history where the person said, well, that sort of made my day. Um... So what? <laughs> right? That doesn't make it okay. The whole thing is just an exploitation. You know, I'm going to impose my will on you. Uh, you know, and then they say, you know, we're not controlling anything. Well, of course you're controlling. You're controlling something else's destiny. You've decided to force it to go on the good ship lollipop and it's heading right for a fucking giant iceberg and you just don't care. I mean, it's just so fucking stupid. But then he, you know, he's arguing like this is some, like, like it's Piro. He, he, he thinks antinatalism means suicide. You have to commit suicide. When no, no, it means you just don't have babies. It just means that you don't, you figure out that first they're of no use. What do I do with one? Why, why, why do people want them? And, and you're almost, it's almost like so, so bad you're saying in your head. Well, they think that it's so obvious they have a micro penis and that they can't possibly get a girl pregnant. That at least if they prove it, then no one will think they have a micro penis and they can't get a girl pregnant or something? What the fuck are they thinking? 
I mean, what, are, what is their defensive maneuver here saying, I want the financial burden. I want to have inane conversations for at least 13 years where I have to explain the obvious to this retard. Oh, fuck, I have to deal with the noise and the bullshit. And then it turns out to be a fairy or something, wants to take, you know, jazzercise lessons or something. And I'm going to be so fucking humiliated. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my kid just got high honors and blah blah blah. Yeah, my yeah, well, my kid failed everything and he's jazzercising. Oh man, what the fuck are you doing it for? What? 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 I just can't even imagine. Okay, I go to all this trouble to get this this woman with this vagina thing to care and love me and give it to me, and then I want a big fat baby to fly out of it. And her to get nice and wrinkled and fat and stretch marked and all kinds of shit just to, what? And I win? And then on top of that, I got this thing I got to pay for. I got to feed it. I got to care for it. I got to do all this crap. So, I, I mean, the only thing I can think is is that most men are child molesters. I mean, there, there's no other reason. Why the fuck would you want one? What the fuck good is it? I, I just don't understand. Why do they feel like their life has been impaired in some horrible way? Because they don't have this terrible, ugly gambling game to play where they have to worry about every fucking decision. Do I let the kid cut the grass? Maybe he cuts his fucking arm off. It'll be my fault because I didn't maintain the lawnmower. I didn't do this. Or I didn't do that. Do I, I'm going to let the shit head into a car and drive the car down the street and maybe run over my neighbors? Holy fuck. Well, the liability is huge. Why the fuck would I want to get into that mess? So I, you know, I can't understand it on a visceral level. I mean, not not a single cell in my body is saying, "Make babies, make babies, make babies." Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's no appeal whatsoever. I just can't understand it even viscerally. So of course, I mean, philosophically, I'm sitting here. What the fuck is the catch? What is so different between me and you lunatics? So Fake Sagan's joined a religion, right, that basically hates penises. I mean, can't stand the fucking things. They're the most evil invention. That It was like God blinked his eyes wrong or something and invented this horrible, awful thing. You know, oh, you only have sex to make babies. You don't do it for any other reason. That's sacrilegious. And he th what? How do you viscerally connect to that? How do you rationally connect to that? How do you connect to that at all? It's insanely, bizarrely stupid. It could only be invented by psychotic child molesters. Uh, so anyway. I, it's no, so no irony that there's a bunch of child molesters in the Catholic Church, right? No irony there. Makes perfectly good sense. What male would be attracted to this insane religion that hates his penis? What, why would I join that club? And so now he's, he's talking like he's joined the women-hating club. But, you, I mean, you've got to hate the men first. Oh, amazingly stupid. I mean, if there couldn't be a stronger male-hating club than religion, if all you want to do in your life, again, is exploit things, then fine, it's a great club. But if you have some reasoning skills, you can see that the club doesn't have anything to do with you doing anything but becoming completely... Um, obliged to spend your existence um, being ground into a pulp to pay for the woman and the kids. I mean, you know, it, it, all, all this religious thing sounds fine if you're the king, right? <laughs> you got the harems and shit. But if you don't inherit it, right? If you don't inherit an empire, you're fucked, okay, as a peasant in Christianity. Uh, I mean, you're not going to win. You're going to die uh, picking, you know, digging up potatoes. So anyway, so we'll play some of this. But fuck. <laughs> so this is it, eh? Bit shoot. So I have them a little bit sped up. So yes, bit shoot. So bitch shoot hoot, bitch hoot. <laughs> so. Who knows what game they're playing? A shoot of bits. The house that sticks, hex, and hammer built. It's 
supposedly a place to go for free speech on the internet, but that's what they always say, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's the big first lie, and then the second lie, third lie, fifth lie, you know, it just goes on and on. But yes, the game is somebody has to always pay for stuff, and if, you know, that's why I have a website. I pay for it. This video, I have to pay to put it online. Okay, it's not that much. So the producers have to pay a little bit of a price to produce. Nothing wrong with that. And then we get rid of all the ads, and we get rid of all the shysters, and we get all rid of all the corporations, and all the CEOs, and all the bullshitters trying to manipulate us, and just have a platform that provides the service. We just pay to provide the service. We pay enough programmers to keep it running, and we pay for the servers and the bandwidth, and it ends up being a little tiny bit of money, okay? And we don't have to pay any fuckhead trying to make a killing, trying to be a rich emperor with a harem. How many times have we heard that before? So every new social media platform claims to be the place to go for free speech till it becomes successful, until the ad revenue starts rolling in. It has nothing to do with the ad money rolling in. Again, the whole plan is, is there's always somebody investing in it for the very purpose of capitalizing on once they have you on the hook. They're going to sell you in the fish market. That's all it is. So they bait the hook, they catch you, and they sell you in the market. There's nothing, there's no other plan. There's no plan. There can't be a plan from the beginning unless it's to steal your stuff, to take advantage of you and sell you in a market somewhere. There has to be the payoff, so to speak. They don't invest their money because they think it's nice. That Oh, it's nice they have free speech. I like that. No, they want to make money off of you, period. It's the entire reason it exists. is because they already have a fucking plan to personally benefit by the process. That's it. They're just another human being exploiting other human beings overtly and doing it by pretending they give a shit about bit or shooting. And then, like refugees, we have to move on to the next up and coming social media project. Well, obviously that doesn't happen too often, so yes, but obviously people migrate from whatever it was, hot site to Facebook or something, and they decide which one is going to be the place to be, and so <clears throat> it's always going to be a monopoly kind of, it tends to be monopoly run, I mean, so we have to recognize businesses that tend to go monopoly and say that those we have to regulate a little differently because they tend to become monopolies. I mean, where most of the people are is where most of the people are going to go to be heard. So that's just a fact. And we can recognize that, well, that's sort of a, you know, the discretion of the, the viewers is sometimes not too smart. They tend to go to arenas that maybe aren't the best. So maybe we have to make sure that there's always a way to fix it when it goes bad. And we don't allow these monopolies to run our lives. Continuously chasing our free speech in a never ending shell game from one shell to the next red card, red card, watch the red card. Don't blink twice or you might miss it. Right. Well, I'm just saying this. Yes. So we're 20 years into this um, electronic uh, public square thing, you know, where the public square has migrated. I mean, even the old Supreme Court justices of 30 years ago sort of saw some of this coming, uh, that the medium was changing, okay, that, you know, it's no point in talking about whether somebody slandered you in writing or somebody slandered you in voice or tape recording or, yeah, the technology has changed, the concepts changed, so what free speech represents is um, an opportunity not just to speak, like, okay, yeah, they could give me a permit to speak in the middle of Wyoming wilderness or they give me an opportunity to speak where people actually are and that's the real thing the real catch to it is that, that having the right to ha having free speech is useless if you don't have free access to an audience that can hear you so you know it's more complicated than just saying our Constitution protects free speech well free speech doesn't mean anything if you can't speak where people are This is the place to go for free speech now. 
Oh. Right. So you're not in exactly the wilderness, but you're pretty far away from anywhere where anybody can hear you. So the place you need to be, where the people are, they won't let you be. And then even when they let you be there, again, YouTube is controlling it, so they're basically censoring, you know, they can basically they can <laughs> they can basically put a bunch of plastic trees around you and make you less seeable and less hearable. Um, and they do that all the time. So the people that do ad revenue and have lots of ads, they'll promote that content because that makes them money. The people who don't have ads, they'll demote that content because it doesn't make them money. And then the content they like because it says something like, Alex Jones is a duty head. Well, they can promote that. And the content says, Alex Jones is great. Well, they can demote that. Um, not that Alex Jones is a good example, like I said, because he was such a preposterous liar that... He, you know that shouldn't be allowed I mean preposterous lying there should be some limits on that I mean the fact that somebody was actually getting around to suing him and all of that makes some sense um, but again they're just going to do what's in it for them they're going to settle and get their money and that'll be it he won't fix anything oh, by the way uh, uh, my name is Chris uh, refugee from YouTube started making videos in 2006 fairly uninteresting it'd be better if you had a cooler name actually but whatever a legend in my own time. Look me up. Uh, yeah, as a failure. Okay, so let's understand that you're more legendary for your failures than your successes. Sadly. Well, an Encyclopedia Dramatica. Let's see. So kind of interesting that he would actually. Um, I mean, he's 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 it's like proud of a page that shows his dirty underwear. You know, eh. I mean, I have an Encyclopedia Dramatica page, and that's good. But it's just so full of stupid lies that, nah, that sucks. And they don't, you know, they don't show any of the... They don't even show my underwear to show how clean it is, which is irritating. I mean, they should at least... I mean, I have so much chunk on the internet that they could steal. And they don't steal any of the cool stuff. How free bitch you really is. Let's see... How many people and groups I can offend, how many sacred cows I can tip in the next 60 seconds without getting banned. So, so this is this this is a demonstration of why the system fails. It's because people don't even understand the principle. The principle of free speech isn't giving you the freedom to say shit. You well, know, the theater's on fire. You know, it isn't the freedom to lie. It's the freedom to do something sincerely necessary which is to express your honest opinions it's not the freedom to manipulate the freedom to uh, steal people's money the freedom to uh, connive and, and, and distort the thing being protected and trying to be preserved is the right of the truth to be heard essentially that's the most precious thing that the freedom of speech is trying to protect is the truth so I just had this conversation a little bit on the, on the other channel um, you know, in the sense that nobody's ever understood lawyering properly. They think the job of the lawyer is for the prosecution to force the guy to be guilty, to do anything to get him convicted. And that the job of the, de the, the defense lawyer is to make their in guilty client look innocent and to make, to fool the jury into thinking he's innocent. To do anything they can to make him innocent. Not to preserve the truth and the real point of the lawyers is for one side to prevent the other side from lying, from cheating the truth, from doing something to make the truth less visible. That's what they're supposed to be stopping. Both sides are supposed to be stopping that. And the theory is, is that if you have two different advocates, one of the advocates is going to get that right um, in the process. One will stop the other from cheating. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to be stopping the other side from cheating. You're not supposed to be cheating better than the other side. Again, it's not do unto others as they do unto you. Okay, in the sense that you, they do something bad to you, you don't pile on some more bad. I'm going to be even worse. You don't shock and awe. It's the irrational response. Yeah. Anyway, stupid fucks. <clears throat> Fuck kites. Fuck me. So that's really useful. 
Oh, I'm so glad you have the freedom to do that. It's such a necessary thing to protect. Name calling. You know, it's so important that human beings have the right to name call. Fuck. Fuckers. Fuck spicks. Fuck cheeks. Fuck single mothers. Uh, fuck. Yeah, fuck bearded guys. Fuck white guys. Fuck big nose guys. Fuck whatever color eyes you have. Fuck guys losing their hair. Fuck guys in fucking lame shirts. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> you really, oh, you're so uh, on the edge of the uh, philosophical uh, torpedo of truth. Oh, yeah, we gotta protect the right to just talk babbly shit. Just to turn your anus to the camera and let it loose. Mm, fine, but uh, that needs to be indexed. That needs to be protected from these controlling mechanisms. That doesn't need to be protected, frankly. That needs to be understood for what it is. Labeled for what it is. Useless crap. Meaningless mush. So we should just label everything. Fair labels. That's what we need. Fairness in labeling. Everything should be fairly labeled. All women, for that matter, they can't even change it. I, fuck the differently abled, aka cripples. Fuck. Uh, AKA cripples. I mean, that's a, that's all. Yeah, that's more necessary speech. <laughs> you know, I mean, shouldn't you just say rationally? Fuck an ideology where you're you don't recognize that you're a burden, or you don't recognize the fact that you're not paying your way. That you should have some gratitude rather than resentment. Uh, you know, <laughs> that you should be grateful that um, you know for what you get rather than resentful because you're not getting everything. Undocumented immigrants, or as they were known in my day, illegal aliens. What happened to that? <clears throat> yeah, well, what happened to the notion that legal ones are worse? Okay, the ones who come here legally are worse. All right, they're the ones that just forget about it. Okay, I got in, I'm staying. Whether you like it or not. I'm not going to become a citizen. I'm not going to speak English. I'm not going to do any of that shit. I'm going to remain a uh, whatever they call it, a resident alien because I have all kinds of rights as an a resident alien. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't get my social security, but I get all kinds of other ways I can manipulate your system and play the game, and I don't have to go through any of this bullshit of being a responsible citizen. Um, fuck LGBTQ. Uh, fuck anybody who's gender non-binary. Right, so just saying, fuck anybody who's different than me. Fuck, uh, it's a nuisance, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, I agree 100%. You know, as a personal, visceral human, I'm sick of ugly people, I'm sick of short people, I'm sick of everybody. Everybody's just a piece of shit who isn't just like me. Alright, yes, you all suck. Fuck not just cloning me, okay? Clone me. Me, 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 me. I'm cool, you all suck. It's obvious. Okay. Yeah, I get that. All right, but isn't being like some kind of an adult recognizing, oh, wait a minute, that's not how the world is, okay? You just, that ain't gonna work, okay? The rest of the world isn't gonna agree that you're really cool and they all suck. They're just not going to agree. <sighs> fuck. Binary, whatever the fuck that means. Fuck sensitive Muslims that expect me to Observe their Sen sensitive Muslim, so that's funny right on his face. I mean, you just laugh your ass off right there. It's like a sensitive Christian. Oh, I'll pray for you. <laughs> God will pay me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sensitive religious kook. No, don't think it can happen. Um, but anyway, just, just ironic, you know, to complain about the Muslims when the Christians have been so overtly, maniacally, it's right in their Bible. Go kill them. You know, the babies and the women. Okay? <laughs> you know, they don't agree with us. Kill them. <laughs> you know, fuck you. Intolerance. Oh, he doesn't like the Muslim intolerance for his religion. Like, you're so tolerant. They're taboos when they don't care about those of any other religion. Um, I mean, just a big pile of hypocrisy there. Fuck mods. Fuck jannies. YouTube. Whatever that means. Janny and a mod and blah 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 blah. 
what, what is a mod? Somebody who doesn't tie their shoes? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Fuck school shooting victims and their bereaved families. I don't fucking care. Oh, wow. Now that's, you know, that's a little bit bold, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. So, it's just... You know, what's the point of saying shit like that? Again, it's just, what, what, what how is that rational? You know, it, it doesn't make any sense at all to say, uh, oh, fuck people who've invested, all, you know, years of their life trying to make a human being. Um, so why don't you just say, yes, just fuck the average human? I mean, I would agree that most of the people killed in school shootings probably earned it, probably deserved it, right? They suck. They were just going to grow up to be some kind of human asshole. I would clearly probably put them in the asshole category, all right? I mean, yes, I mean, the fact is if we line up the human race and, uh, you know, there's a trap door, you know, and the stuff that's not worthy falls through the trap door and I have the lever, most of you aren't going to get past the trap door. It's just a fact. I'm going to say, you know, you're more, you make more messes than you clean up. You make more messes than you clean up. You make more messes than you clean up, you know. So yeah, fuck them in that sense, but it's just idiotic to say um, they're complaining too much. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? They have a right to complain. I don't think it's too much. I mean, fuck the 9-11 victims, right? Because those victims are just bullshit. Their relative basically, <clears throat> you know, died in a horrible way, some of them. I mean, jumping out of the building's terrible, but most of them died quickly without even knowing they, they're dead. Um, <clears throat> quite graceful in that sense I mean fast which is important um, and yeah I mean there's people run over by drunk drivers every day uh, they don't get any extra bonuses they don't get paid billions of dollars for their grief they don't get any of that crap so it's totally irrational so yeah fuck people who want to be paid okay because bad things happen to them and they didn't deserve it fuck anybody who thinks that way because guess what that happens every fucking goddamn day people are ruined and they didn't deserve it more parking spaces for me fuck you fuck you people for saying that's okay because that's basically what you're saying all you pro-lifers you're basically saying it's okay for people who didn't deserve it to have horrible things to happen to them you're saying that's okay because that's the fucking system jackass Whatever he just said, parking meters? I don't know what he said. Hands off my guns. Oh, so more of that that crap, right? Guns for God. <laughs> you know, God needs you to have a gun. If it, God wanted you to have a gun, he'd have it built into your finger. He'd, he'd give you a lot, like, sharp fangs with poison in them if he wanted you to go around imposing justice. So, he, he, you know, it's just so ludicrous. Again, I don't, I'm not for laws against guns. I'm just so against assholes saying, yeah, give guns to any jackass. Put it in the hand of any kind of moron. Great. Super. It's an American right. Any American should have, every American should have a gun. I mean, it's just so fucking stupid. And you really wouldn't want me to have a fucking arsenal, fake Sagan. Because you're not going to live too long. It's, it's, it's like not a guarantee. There's every probability that if you get, had a hundred me's, okay, with arsenals, one of them is going to find a good reason to take you out. Fuck Hillary Clinton. That much getting you hot. Well, that's so obviously something you don't want to do, like in the um, literal sense. Uh, <laughs> you know, in any kind of nice way, especially. Um, but, yes. But fuck Obama for hiring her. Fuck, you know, you can go back all the way back and, and figure out what a disaster this was. More than anything else. Oh, and fuck you. Uh, okay, well, that's not very encouraging. But that'll create the audience he's looking for, which is a bunch of retards. So, you know, doing that ensures they'll have retards. And the retard audience will show up for that. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, anyway. So, whatever. So I wonder if you can search for anything on this place. <laughs> this 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 place. Let's see if there's any in Mendham videos. That'll be fun. 
Okay, there are. Uh, no, there aren't. I don't know if there are or there aren't. How did it show up? Who is on this website, right? I mean, who but people like me really need to be here? All right, do not God. Imendum devolves into nothingness. Whatever that means. Oh, oh, that's Brett Keen. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this is the Brett Keen platform. Let's see, wayward something or other. Uh, arguing the argument. Well, that's a good theme. Antinatalism destroy Goliath. Black pill by Gray. Hey, Gray's making videos. Oh, I must be one of his old videos. Yeah. Jordan Peterson and mind control agents get obliterated by. Oh, okay. Oh, good for me. But I don't know what this is, so we'll just watch it. I have no idea what it is. Hello, everybody. Uh, my everybody. friends and foes and who might be watching. Uh, okay. My LGBTQA people who I'm closely aligned with. I don't know what all this... Um, including trans e voices man who dude the devil guy seems person. to be trying to silence, which is not acceptable. Um, anyways, <laughs> based off that start right there, you can tell what I'm going to be talking about. And it's going to be... Disabled <clears> discussion. <throat> this <laughs> Yeah is um, polite people are the most devilish of all. They're the most devilish of all people. And I'll tell you why. Well, it's, 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 you're already in huge theoretical trouble. I mean, really, because most polite people are the dumbest people there are. Right? I mean, this is all they could possibly learn was, okay, he's fold the napkin and do, do this. I'm sorry. Say, I mean, that's as far as they could go. I mean, they really couldn't do anything else. They couldn't you know, they're guaranteed to not have many skills. And that's the only skill they could figure out were the little things when they were kids, you know, with the little polite things to do, you know. So, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Strap in. Strap yourself into your chair, buddy. Uh, because we're going to be yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about some talk, shit talk, that talk. Yeah. might make the Brita Bourgeois um, aligned forces want to cry, so... Keep watching, especially if you are one of Yeah, it's like a fake Sagan video in the sense this is all this preliminary before you ever get to the fucking goddamn point. You know, all this <laughs> useless speech. Anyway, uh, I'll just play it. Those people. Um, there me some. You can't even hear no, it. Great. You know, yeah, it really triggers the ancient Aeolus community when you enjoy your life. Yeah, yeah, it really makes sense to eat while you're talking. It's just such a brilliant idea. I see, <laughs> and he can't do it. He can't control it for <laughs> what was it? Uh, one minute and eleven seconds. He couldn't go one minute and eleven seconds without putting crap in his speaking machine. You know, without basically just saying, "I'm just gonna, I, I got a speaker here, and I'm just going to poke holes in it while you know." <laughs> what the fuck is that? And he's talking about other people being stupid, or you got, yeah, he's giving advice. He's giving life advice, and he hasn't figured out it's not a brilliant idea to shove shit in your in your talking device while you're talking. It's really, really, it's fundamentally retarded. There's just no reasoning to it at all. And if you're going to do it, if you really have to, you have to munch on your little sugar bar, okay? Um, you could at least just, oh, I'm going to shut up for a minute eat because I have to eat every 14 seconds. Oh, enjoy your diabetes, retard. So, I'm going to eat some candy while I'm doing the video. Why? 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 <laughs> you might as well. Why? Why? Is that how you have kids? I, I might as well make some babies while I'm fucking. Might as well. <laughs> God. All right, I'm here to communicate with you. No, I'm, I'm here to understand that I have to go to your level, okay, so I can have a conversation about reality. I have to go to your level. Mm. I only wish I had a, a joint right now, but I just don't have that much money. Yeah, so another, you know, gotta live on the joints, man. Gotta have my candy and my joints. And I gotta make some more people dependent on candy and joints. 
and killing animals to eat, even though we don't need to. I need to make more of those kind of people, people who are totally dysfunctional. They need they need pot, and they they, they, they need you know, LSD, and they, and they need candy, and and, and 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 you know they need erectile pills, and they and they need, uh, yeah. <laughs> make more of those. Make more assholes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, at least he has five thumbs down, so at least everybody else hates him. Everybody else said, God, you're a pig. A stupid, ignorant, dumb pig. <sighs> yes, and fake Sagan thinks I should have a gun. <laughs> I would have been out of bullet a long time ago. All right, so that's probably enough of the video. I give up for today. No, I'll give up for at least an hour. And then an hour from now, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I should have played some of that stupid Piro video. He's such a fucking retard. But anyway, enough for now. So, till the next charming time. I get to interact with human beings. Well, pretend to, in a sense. I'm... <laughs> It's actually just a green screen kind of, you know, really kind of a fake. <laughs> you know, I don't really get to, well, I don't get to smell you, which is excellent. And, uh, you know, some of all the other stuff I don't get to do, so. Uh, but anyway, I can imagine. That's bad enough. I can imagine the horror. <laughs> Actually seeing the audience. Oh, wow. Oh, that hurt. Eek. <laughs>